Hello friends, peace be upon all of you, every single of you, always and ever. This is Mohammed, live from Rennes, the city of education, the city of student, France. Today the topic, the subject I'm going to discuss with you is a family. The family is the most important thing in my life and I believe indeed it is in yours as well. Well, how did I come up with this topic? Thanks to my aunt Balkis from Faisalabad. May she get well soon. Please pray for her. She's not well these days. Second, two of my brothers, one from Finland, Ahsen, and second from Germany, Russia. Well, I have two stories to include here. I'll start with the first, the story of Ahsen from Finland. He told me a story about an old senior citizen who was living in a council, council flat in Finland. No one knows he was living his last moments. That is really sad. And it just matters a lot to me, even I'm not his relative. But imagine how it matters to the loved ones, his friends, his family, his children. I mean, he's living his last moments alone and no one knows and no, or no one cares very strong point here so a postman was delivering letter from months at his place and eventually he realized that his letter box is full enough that if he try to push in one more letter inside then the more letters started falling out and this matter this time curiosity got him so he reported this matter to the council and accordingly, Consul visited the house and found that old poor dead man in the house with full of smack. It's a very pretty story. I wish it never happened to anyone. It makes me feel super sad inside. Number one. Now I'm going to tell you the second story. My brother Rashid went from Germany to Finland and upon his visit, he met a guy in a bus Helsinki. He was super drunk, full in pains, with tears of emotions. Why? He shared with my brother that he misses her daughter a lot. She went somewhere to Scotland for her career because she have a project of Hollywood movie and she moved there. I don't know, I don't remember she was a designer or she was a creator or she was a programmer. But that guy misses her a lot and was crying again and again and sharing with my brother so he can reduce his pain. And while he was drinking continuously. So he can forget that. He was wet, dipped into the emotional sad soul. But all this situation my brother have observed and then he questioned him why don't you call her why don't you tell her that please come visit you and then and then you know what he replied that father that dad it is beautiful he said i don't want her to stop chasing her dreams her career this is called love this is called sacrifice a true one all these two stories if i sum up in one line, it's a quote. Always, my aunt used to tell me, Muhammad, I'll say in Punjabi, my tonal language, Muhabbat piche, no, sorry, Rizik piche, Lok Muhabta Torbate. If I translate exactly in English, I don't think it sounds really abstract, but let me make you feel. In the seek of occupation, people have literally forgotten their love people have literally forgotten not forgotten but lost their loved and loved ones this is so sad we humans used to supposed to stay connected help each other live together love together love together what we have done this is innovation this is progress we made so please the beautiful message the oral the moral the reform the action i want to tell you from these two stories it's not just sad but we really need it to reform i want you to stay connected with your family keep visiting them time to time with love and care
miss them, visit them, and visit them before you started missing them. You know what I mean? Before you lose them, please. This is the most top priority in your life, family. Think about it, feel about it, and act upon it. I don't want you to share this video. The only purpose is absorb it, understand it, act it, and reform it. That's all. Your unknown friend, Muhammad. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.